Hello, my players. It's Moonwee here. I'm so excited to see you guys again today, and I have a lot to go over, so let's not waste any time. Before I get into this, I guess I'll have a shout out to my uh, high school AP statistics teacher, Mr. Liu. This one's for you. I'm going to be talking about enchantment, guys. Well, if you go to YouTube, unfortunately, when you go to look up Mabel's Street Enchant, it's not really good videos. I guess has, uh, Saul has some like comments and some tips and tricks here for uh, certain specific, like, I guess, moments of trying to get like, let's say, for example, how to get the 4500 gear score, or like some mistake you can avoid, yada yada. And this one is not that good either, apparently. It's not very thorough. So what I have um, provided and decided to do is me and my buddies, we have a, a group, and we decided what better not than to do all, all the stats for you guys. Sorry, I'm just that really nerdy guy. Uh, if you can think back to some guy in your high school class, that was like really scrawny, sitting kind of quiet by himself, bowl cut, not really talking to one. Right here. That was me. Without further ado, let's get into it. Um, so yeah, this is all purely for you guys. It's meant to help you guys understand the stats and numbers behind what it is you're doing at, at what state and the enchantment process. Uh, I'm not gonna go over like the basics, I'm just assuming you already know how to do that. I'm pretty sure Saul has a video on it, or um, Maple Weed probably has a video on it, you can probably go to them. I will say, I'll give some credit to Salt. Uh, he did provide the information down here. Oops, on my screen. I did extrapolate a lot of the, uh, I guess, stats from his uh, YouTube video. Now let's get into my contribution and my portion and my analysis. But this, these first two pages is purely just gonna be for me to kind of just unload all my information. But I will still go over just very really briefly and I still have a final one for you guys to use at the, at the end. Uh, hopefully some of you guys will find some use out of it and that way you can save some resources and not have to kind of blindly throw resources at your weapon and have it just eat it all up. Cause uh, it's, you know, tomorrow is the reset guys and we get legendary weapons. On a side note, if you have money right now and you're able to get Onyx, get as much of that Onyx as you can, like all of it, but just accord it. Cause once um, the reset happens tomorrow, uh, I don't want to promise anything, but the Onyx is probably go to at least 1,000, if not over 1,000. Again, this is just me guessing, uh, just from what I've seen on like KMS and er like early on in uh, having to upgrade the legendary weapons, and it requires a lot of Onyx. So the sooner you can gather all that before there's a high demand for it, the low supply, because those legendary weapons are going to be eating up the supply of Onyx, and it's just going to skyrocket. That aside, again, back to this. So we're going to go to the first page, and... I'm gonna go over uh, briefly what is happening. So I decided to jot everything down. I tracked ex exactly the attempts um, all the way across to success, um, uh, weapon effectiveness, honest crystals, uh, which is Ock, and chaos on honest crystals, which is cock. Demonetize me, YouTube. And crystal fragments, min, min attack. Well, this is, again, this is all from Salt's video, so you, you can have that if you want. And the bottom part, I did extrapolate from the best fit curve, just so that uh, I kind of like know what the value was. I get if you had to do it for plus fifteen and the resources required. I'll try to figure that out as soon as possible. I wasn't really concerned about the final state because at that point I'm probably just assuming that I, I mean, you could be stuck with it regardless. Um, but just for curiosity's sake, yeah. So how I got input for for the fifteenth value, I went to uh, Salt's video and I did a best fit curve essentially found a point that fell on the curve right around here, as you can see on this image right here. And I found a point and it just kind of took that value. And I did it both ways. I used it from the tag gain, so that it was uh, incremental, which is technically the derivative. So if you're using the derivative of the change, uh, you can also find it that way. And luckily it ended up being the same thing. So our math checked out. Um, you can double check it if you want. I also tracked the charges failed on here, as you can see in this column right, right here. And I also did the charge per weapon. So the charge per weapon is how much charge you're getting per weapon that you're expending for the enchantment. So let's say you fail that uh, enchantment for every 11, then how much charges do I get? You kind of want to know what the ratio you're getting. That way you kind of like plan out when would be the best time to uh, not use a uh, weapon. So that way you can build up on charges. And so I, uh, this is what I found. The highest one is 1.5 for 12 and uh, the lowest is 11. Luckily for 11, it's why would you even use it anyways? You, you're better off using those weapons on a higher achievement rank, I guess. And then on the right, we have cumulative uh, mesos. So this is the cumulative. This is if you're somehow some really lucky, crazy person that can get no fails. So this is if you consecutively just went all the way down. This is the minimum cost. And I think this should be 35 million. Now. These first two pages will purely just for be view only because I like to keep my raw data kind of just like as is and I just like it my way. So you feel free to copy it and change it however you like. 
So that way you can properly navigate the cheapest path to getting 50. Right here, I also jotted down the weapon value. So the weapon value is the effective uh, percentage that you're getting per weapon that you apply if, again, this is like no extra uh, weapons added. And you guys didn't know that uh, the little rules that are applied. If you were to talk to Ophelia, the redhead, big boobed girl, we all know her. Uh, if you talk to her, she will have little like eye icons in either spot once you uh, do an equip and you can just hover over it and it'll kind of give you the rules. You can only get a max of 30% success rate from additional weapons. Everything beyond that will be from purely just you adding enchantment charges. Other rule is this too. This is just basically extract, extracted from, again, the Maple Story rules of enchanting. Uh, you get one charge uh, for anything other than 10. If you fail, again, not very likely, but it might be good because that way each one per weapon is technically more. Oh, this is technically not zero. I don't know why I left S zero here. This is technically 50%. Uh, anyway, so I also have these two categories down right here. I have a star in one hand. Uh, this I have yet to fill out because I was more focused on trying to like get the kind of the standard um, flat information for everyone. I know I have the information for uh, stats right now. It is also, I believe, technically um, correct information for two-handed uh, weapons too if you do care about how much attack you're be getting. Uh, I did cross-reference this to my uh, friend uh, Berserker's account, which is, has a... A great sword. It did have a slightly different incremental uh, increase, but I wasn't quite sure if that was just through um, communication error or something. On the second page, uh, what you have is in a little bit more raw data. This is more for just explaining how I got the probabilities for anyone who has yet to take stats or um, I guess never really had an opportunity to understand uh, how to calculate an at least blank uh, probability. So how to calculate the at least blank probability. Well, luckily we only have to do one, so it's really easy since once we su uh, successfully uh, move on to the next enchantment, we technically don't have to repeat the other one. So it, so let's say, uh, for example, you had a lottery ticket, you have a 20% chance of jackpotting on your on your lottery ticket. Otherwise, you would get nothing. 20%, we can type. And now let's say like we're trying to figure out if we have three tickets, so three attempts, so they're all individual attempts, so they have no um, they're mutually exclusive. They have no effect on each other in terms of outcome. Then how can we calculate this? Well, one way to think about it is what is the prob what is the sum total probability? So literally everything happening, which is 100%, everything happening is 100% likely. It happens. Um, then you would take the full 100% chance of all the possibilities, and you would only subtract the ones where you would always get. Uh, yeah, so you would have all your probabilities together, and then you will subtract all the probabilities with no success. So with no success, that means it would leave everything that has at least a success in it. So that's how you would calculate at least one, if that was clear. Now that I've explained it, let's calculate an example really quick. So at 20%, using this formula of 100% minus the probability of failure, then the probability of failing all three of them would be 0.8 to the power of 3, because it's 0.8 times... 8 times 0.8, which would be the full probability of you being a total loser, which is actually pretty high. It's like 0.6 times 8 is actually like, it's like what, 50%? Well, a 50% chance of, of either winning or losing. So that would actually say that's pretty fair. But again, um, in this moment, let's, let's type it out on uh, fake Excel here. So we have 1 minus 0.8 to the power of 3. And this is Leave that in here. Yep, like I said, about 50, 48.8, 50%. Easy as that. So if that didn't make any sense, just kind of read it and uh, maybe like do a little bit of Googling. Uh, and down here, I kind of uh, calculated the repeated attempts without modifiers. So if I don't use any of my charges, I don't use any of my uh, weapons as additionals, then this is what will happen. So as you can see, as you progress to the kind of the fourth attempt here and the third attempt here, you have a high chance of like getting at least one. But that also doesn't mean causality. This is more of like understanding what could happen. So moving on, oh, before I do, this is kind of understanding, uh, kind of like uh, with my own eyes, I'm more of a visual person. Uh, what would uh, be like if I did the maximum amount of uh, weapon additionals for everything above 11. And as you can see, once you get to that point, if you have the same percentages, 
anything from 12 to 15 is acting like an 11. However, the amount of weapons you're using is now immensely greater as you progress on. So that's why I was trying to calculate the, the effective cost of each one as you progress onwards and how expensive it would be. But I didn't, again, I didn't want to bother with that. Again, I, wanna, I was more focused on brushing towards analyzing what the best path is because I feel like that is more important. Right now, we're trying to get to plus 15 as quickly as possible and most efficiently as possible just so that we can kill some Papilatus or whatever or the pirate this guy is and that one big purple Devlin warrior guy. Yeah, so we're, we're just trying to get there. Well, I ha luckily have a third page for you guys, which I cleaned up a lot. Uh... Uh, right here. So this will be open, oops, but I, don't, I don't code. So this is all gonna be um, available. I'm gonna link to this, or I'm gonna have a link to this, and that way you guys can uh, use it. So what does all this mean? So this is all more useful information as opposed to uh, a data dump. So here I have some Scion uh, boxes that means you can change the input. It was really crazy this morning. It was actually at 500 for the Onyx Crystals and I think 32K. Uh, it was a really crazy spike, like I mentioned, it's purely because of the reason I'm, I started the video with. So just kind of give it some thought. I could be wrong. Don't base all of your mess with decisions on, on me. Like I'm not, the, I'm not a guru, but I just have some experience and understanding the market. So I just apply it. Uh, again, back to this. Sorry, I get sidetracked. 